What do you need to facilitate moving forward? <laughs> she's, she's just just take. Yeah. There it goes. There it is. Oh, that reminds me of my hometown. Oh, uh, good. The close-up was on you. Then we'll we got, that'll be your thumbnail. Oh god, that was amazing. It's the only still I'm gonna send you. Oh, god. Spitting, talking oh, god. rain the back into the camera. The worst thing would have been if that like came out your nose. Like, oh god, because oh. the carbonation. Oh. Is oh. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another Cinefix Now roundtable. Um, I'm Clint Gage, your person sitting in the middle this week, as per <laughs> usual. Uh, Casey, Casey's here, how you doing? Oh, hi, where am I? <laughs> you're right there, you're on the end. You're, you're, you're far to the left. <laughs> Good to see everyone. You're just the other side of Anna. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's me. Wait, that's wait. That's right. Yeah. Because I'm here. Other, the complete other side of the table, there's yeah. Christina. That's me. This is what my voice sounds like. <laughs> I'm Christina. You're supposed to do it more casually than that. This I, whole opera isn't. Uh, I thought we were going we around this names? way. Wait, I'm so I'm so confused. Are we actually saying we're names identifying or are you just our names? voice? This is the intro. Look, the point is, <laughs> the point is, truly is the only one who has. Hey, this is truly. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Business taken care of. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing good? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. That's awesome. It's Halloween though. It mm-hmm. is. When this episode is airing, it is officially Halloween. Happy Halloween. Spoon. Yeah. While we're doing announcements, can we put up a little blurb for like the people that don't have iTunes for the mm-hmm. podcast? Yeah. It's right here. Mm-hmm. You can go, <laughs> I'm not good. Because the, no, the no, shot's not like right there. Yeah, anyway. it's here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe down there somewhere. If you don't have iTunes, there are other ways to get the podcast. Link and information and all of that good stuff is in the description below. Uh, so for sure, go check that out and get yourself uh, a, a fancy podcast. Listening. Now back to Halloweeners. Now back to Halloween. Now that we're done with that podcast listening experience <laughs> update, <clears throat> it's Halloween still. <laughs> so <laughs> this shockingly, oh, we managed to take less than you know twenty-four hours I, to say our name. I names. listen to so many podcasts. You'd think I could, I could do do it. But I can't, clearly. No. I think uh, it was very snappy. It'd be great. <laughs> Look, I'll think about it ahead of time next week. That's Casey. He's the optimist. That's Casey. <laughs> yeah. Wait, any hints of optimism in any of, any voice you hear will be Casey. Yeah. Um, so, uh, of course, it being Halloween, we got to talk about scary movies. Mm. Scary, scary movies. Sp- sp- spooky. Um, and this is something we actually talked about doing a tournament about. You know, what we thought about doing scariest things yeah. in movies. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that was a little too nebulous for yeah. some of us. It was, it was broad. Yeah. It was. Uh, like. so, so we didn't do it. We didn't end up doing that. But it's worth talking about, I think, because it's Halloween and because scary things in general, it, it is so broad. And it's like, I love the idea that based on what you would pick for your scariest thing, it like would really say a lot about you personally. And that might be embarrassing, which is fun. Hmm. About you personally, or at least about some specific incident in your life, right. defining or otherwise. Exactly, which is awesome. Um. <laughs> I think it sure is, Clint. <laughs> <laughs> We're all riding the sugar crash from Halloween. Oh, please. Um, Even though so. it's like 10.30 in the morning right now. Isn't that when you start eating candy on Halloween? I look, I've been eating candy for weeks. Yeah. Just to, just to, you know, <laughs> to get build up shape. my tolerance. Right. There's nothing left but whoppers to hand out to kids trick yeah. or treat every day. Oh, like, I'm starting to understand candy? when I was a kid, I was so mad at the houses that just handed out pennies, but that's literally all I've got left in that bowl Dude. next to my front door right <laughs> that's now. That's cold hard cash. Yeah. Know, right? <laughs> as good as cash. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, let's talk about scary movies. And let's, let's just, because clearly we need a little bit of focus <laughs> in this conversation. What? Um, what are, what is just characters in general? They can be literally any type of character. What's the scariest character you've ever come across in a movie? Uh, well, when I started thinking about a thing that stands out in my life that scared me, I immediately thought of that uh, Joe Dante segment from the Twilight Zone movie, mm-hmm. where that mm. creepy demonic cartoon comes out of the TV and he's all. Aah. 
Wait, wait, one more time. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, okay, now I remember. That guy. Yeah. For those yeah. listening at home, Casey has stuck out his tongue, <laughs> raised his arms in a menacing manner, and then jiggled his body just yes. so. <laughs> jiggled his body. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the scariest jiggle ever put to celluloid. <laughs> right. um, or ones and zeros, for that matter. That's right, yeah. My point was, that really scared me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That was a really great anthology series, like, yeah. like when, because they got like guys like Joe Dante to do segments for it. Mm -hmm. which Joe Dante is one of my sneak up all time favorite directors. Yeah, like, he's done a lot of really fun stuff. Mm -hmm. well, there's also something inherently creepy, like the first time you see animation used in a like scary grown up manner, because like we we all grow up, you know, animated movies, especially here in the U.S., are very much like kid stuff. Right. And the first time, like, one of those, like, legitimately scares you, and not just in the, like, oh, I found the, the villain from, from whatever Disney movie scary, but, yeah. like, this is an actual monster that's supposed to scare not children and adults alike. You're like, there's something fundamentally wrong with this. <laughs> Does you not know? compute. <laughs> oh, this is a thousand times more scary because cartoons are usually so cuddly and friendly. I keep imagining <laughs> that you're about to say that it's cool world. Is it cool? Cool world is terrifying. That's second on my list. It's terrifying for a couple reasons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, for me, my my scariest uh, movie thing was the. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before on the channel. The killer clowns from outer space, which weren't animated. They were Whoa. costumed, and they were right. super cheesily costumed, like. You're, it, they're borderline, you can see the zippers on the back of the suits yeah. sorts yeah. of yeah, costume. but it's but super that's, grotesque. But that's yeah. w part of why they're so scary. It's just like, oh, somebody took, you know, funny costumes and made them, like, super creepy. Well, and I'm like, not scared of clowns. Well, I'm like just Halloween scared stores, of those. At Halloween stores, there's always, like, there's just like... Ronald Reagan mask and like <laughs> weird clown mask and whatever other harmless Halloween mask and then like f***ed <laughs> up demon clown thing yeah. like, right next to it. That's what that's what those were. Yeah. But basically. Uh, they, yeah, but they they were that, but with like seventy five percent more like special effects care put into those. Like not enough to make them look like they were actually actually clowns from outer space, but. Terrible, terrible, cre yeah, they, it's the only movie that like actually made me scared for weeks after seeing it. Really? You know, I was, like I said, it's it's not necessarily like a formative experience in my life that seeing Killer Clowns from Outer Space, but it definitely like I was just the right age to be whatever was going to creep me out when I was like 11 and a half or whatever it was, that was going to stick with me. So that's getting into like some like first first real scare you remember mm -hmm. in a movie kind of territory. Because yeah. for me for me like like as a kid you sort of wander into the living room while your parents are watching a movie and then you get like quick little images of it or something like that. And I remember seeing it was one of the Friday the thirteenth um, or no no it was one of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. That and I, I don't remember which one and I've never gone back looking for it, but there's a scene where there's a school bus that is like teetering on this tiny little like mm -hmm. I don't remember what it was, but it's like teetering on this ledge. And I remember walking into the room and going like, nope, and turning right back around. <laughs> like as a kid, I'm like, I don't want any part of this. I'm well, out of here. And I, I take one of those I'd every seen... day. <laughs> I want one of those <laughs> frequently. I'd seen one, one or more like legit R-rated movies by the, that point. I think it was also that I was with, I was watching that movie with my cousin, who is like an enormous wuss compared to me when mm. we were kids. Like she would. She was scared of like roller coasters and even to a certain extent the like merry-go-round until she was like nine. So she was, I, I sort of fed off of her like, this is so scary energy. And yeah, for weeks afterwards, I thought there was going to like, I was sort of afraid to turn my back to doors lest a killer clown come out. And it was, you know, it was weird. There's no, there's no logic to, to right, why right. movies scare you, but. I'm sure there probably is. Let's <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure somebody's written a really boring psychology probably. paper There's on it. There's whole but books about it in some library. It's actually way, way more interesting yeah. to just be like, never, I don't no know. accounting for There's it. There's literally <laughs> no way to figure this out. See you later. Bye. I remember the, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but from Dark Crystal. Oh, like yeah. The, yeah, those oh, are yeah. things so that just scary. Oh, yeah, those were so real unpleasant. Scare they're really grotesque. Yeah, and just like vile, animalistic, 
awful beings. Yeah, and that's that's kind of in line with what you were talking about animated movies that yeah, they're puppets like they're were, like yeah. like a yeah. Trojan horse of a kids movie, but really it's just some scary shit. That's yeah. In there. Uh, I've never seen The Dark Crystal. Oh, it's, still to I mean, this day. It's good. It's good. I, yeah. I saw it later. Like, I'm sure if I'd seen that when I was 11, I would have been traumatized by the Skeksis instead right. of the yeah. killer clowns. But, like, man, like, it's, it's, it's a full blown, like, adult level, f intellect level fantasy movie with puppets. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know. Because it's a Jim Henson thing, it yeah. You show yeah, it to like, your eight-year-old, oh, hey, and you're like, "Oh, yeah. let's let's rent this for little yeah. Michael." They're and real then, disturbing. Well, the yeah. thing that stood out for me in that movie was that sort of hypnosis scene where the where the the girl is sort of staring into that light, and it's like her life force is getting sucked away. And I remember being a kid going, "Oh, she's dying." Oh God, she, <laughs> <laughs> the Dark Crystal was the first time you understood yeah. death. But like okay. to watch to watch it happen slowly, yeah, is oh, but, yeah. see, I. I, got, I learned that lesson in uh, in Masters of the Universe when the uh, <laughs> what's her name the, the princess was like in that weird glowy light thing. Uh, so nobody's nobody's mentioned any of the Freddies or the Jasons or anything like that. Or, or, I, I didn't yeah I didn't get into those until I was in high school. And by and then, by it's, then fun. it's like yeah it's fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and the thing is like I don't I don't scare easily. I startle incredibly easily. Like right. like if there is a loud noise like I jump forty feet in the air. Right. Doesn't Watch your pearls. I, I just I just startle. <laughs> Like I don't, I don't really know why, but I startle. I think you know what? Actually, I know. I figured this out the other day. Okay, I startle really easily because I have a really good fight or flight reflex, <laughs> but I'm also really slow moving, okay. so I have to get a head start. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, that's why. Yeah, that makes so sense. So I startle um, really easily. So, uh, I, I sit next to her. I can verify that all of this is true. <laughs> Put my so, soda can down too low. Ooh. So the movies like sort of like haunted house movies, like with the jump scare kind of like, movies. Like, they don't, they don't uh, I, I don't care because like they don't they don't scare me like I said but like but if I am watching them you will hear me shriek like every time something is loud right but because you're easily startled do you, do you enjoy movies that startle you no, not really, really? Yeah. I, I think I they have the same stuff. thing they kind of annoy me yeah. and or like I don't like them not because they scare me but because they make me feel a little dumb for falling for all the jump scares yeah. well, it's like the worst well, part is trophy. I know it's coming you know it's about yeah. it's like right. like okay something loud is about to happen I'm, I'm bracing myself for it I'm bracing myself for it it happens and I still jump 40 feet in the air it's like <laughs> yeah, any, yeah. yeah anytime a character has one of those bathroom mirror cabinets I'm like you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like so when somebody opens a fridge, you're like, you're gonna be standing behind the door when you yeah. close that fridge. Like, yeah. I know that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. But there's a music cue that's like ramping yeah. up to it, and then they close the door, and the killer clown's standing and there, many, and you're like, ah! How many goddamn times does somebody like throw open a like a, a shower curtain, and nothing is there? Yeah. And then they turn around, mm -hmm. and that's when the jump thing happens, mm -hmm. and it's just like their little brother or some shit. But the movies like It Follows and The Babadook and, and Good, Night Mommy. Good Night Mommy that we went to see, um, like those are, they're, they're, they're just concentrating on the tone yeah. of the movie mm -hmm. and an uneasy tone. And those movies scare the, those are the movies that like really stick with me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's funny, the, the movie that actually really sticks with me is one that none of you will have ever heard of because it was a made for TV movie from like, I don't know, I think maybe from the 70s that I saw replayed on TV once yeah. and it's called This House Possessed. And I think it's based on a book. And, and it's like this lady and she's, uh, you know, she's the assistant of, of some like writer or actor, music guy. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They, they move, but she moves into this house An with artiste. him. She, yeah, she's living in this house with him, like to, to help him out. And it there's all this creepy stuff that starts happening and like and it turns out that the house not only is possessed, but that she actually has this like connection to the house from when she was a baby. But the house starts killing people. Like nice. the house does. Because the house and, the, and like one of the, the scenes that like always sticks with me is like when the walls literally start breathing, and mm. it is oh, yeah, and like and cool. I saw this so when like I was, the the walls are like like yeah. yeah yeah, and like I was pretty young when I saw it, and it just like for some reason it sticks with me. Well, that's me. the kind of thing. It, there's there's some imagery sometimes mm -hmm. that these movies latch onto that that just I mean, and I from my experience watching The Shining like is largely about that. It's literally just. These like really creepy images that just like like out of context, blood coming out of the elevator is something that you would like never forget. Like if that's the only thing you see, you'd be like, ah. 
about ghost stories? You guys into ghosts and demons and all that stuff? I don't know. Ghosts to me aren't that scary. They're just they're just gonna go through you. Yeah, they'll test through you and eh. Just, just, just move. zoom straight through. Just move. Done with yeah. that ghost. Done with that ghost. <laughs> I mean, does, does anyone... So if you were in Poltergeist House, mm -hmm. you would have just, just packed up and left? Just moved? Yeah, I mean, it's a seller's market. <laughs> but for haunted houses? You don't tell them it's haunted. You find the right person. You gotta tell them it's If haunted. Robert Plant was looking for a house, he would have been into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, does anyone here believe in ghosts? Like... Oh, yeah. Like, but, but you believe in, like, what kind, like, do you believe in... I saw my grandfather walk across the yard. Really? He's dead now. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Did you say he walked across the yard before or oh, after yeah, this he was, died? This was post-mortem. Leading up to his death, he no. walked, across, <laughs> he walked right. across the yard and got hit by a car. But, but do you believe in the kind of ghosts that, like, you know, come and strangle you and, like, beat you up in your sleep or whatever? No. Ghosts have better things to do. <laughs> I don't, I'd like to hope I'd like so. to think so. Yeah, yeah that's a, yeah, that's the thing. I don't like believe in ghosts, doors. but it seems <laughs> it seems super petty of the dead to like hang around to to just like just mess with kill it. more people or something. Yeah. Well, they, and yeah. I mean, ghost stories always have some sort of set up, you know, set up where it's like it's an evil person or a crazy person or like yeah, yeah. somebody, around. yeah, somebody who can't yeah. uh, somebody can't move who, past who something. Needs justice, right? I I feel like. I remember at least one ghost story at summer camp like scaring me but I now I can't remember any of the specifics of it I just remember like the, the again with with the same tone as like killer clowns it just happened to be the night that that was going that something right. was going to freak me out or the other girls in my camp group were, were ready to be scared and so so was I uh, but like <laughs> That's the, that is the first sentence of, of either a really childish or really sexy story. <laughs> Your choice. Uh, you know, one of, one of the best ghost movies I thought, like, do you remember the watching, uh, or did you guys see the Blair Witch Project in the theaters? No. I did. No, I, I was kind of bored by it. I, I saw, well, I saw it in the theaters at the time... <laughs> like right when it first came out, it was that like I think this might be real, guys. Kind of like the yeah. rumor was like, this is a this is a documentary. It was a real thing. They found this footage in the woods. Oh my god, it's freaky. And like my house, uh, the house I grew up in, backed up to a, a park that was just a bunch of trees right behind my back fence. And so like coming home from the theater that night, and then like looking out into the park, and then like fumbling with my keys, and then like just looking. Okay. In the let me in the house, let me in the house. <laughs> like, that was the experience of seeing that on the big screen mm -hmm. at a time when it was still, like, rumored to be a real thing. Guys, was, like, really this is cool. before you could Google it and go, Exactly. Wait, is the Blair Witch a real thing? I think I you had... You could, but there were only, like, like eight, eight web entries. pages. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. that was, that and they were was... all like, the Blair Witch is I definitely had, a thing. If there wasn't already an article about it on the uh, Encarta Encyclopedia CD-ROM <laughs> right. that I had in the Packard oh Bell... Uh, computer, but guys, we're real old. Don't. <laughs> no, no, no. We I'm just kidding. I'm not that old. My dad told me about that. <laughs> no, uh, like the, the whole genius of the Blair Witch marketing campaign was that they did have a website, and yep. there was no such thing as googling it. You yep. had to like go to www.theblairwitchproject.com, and that had all the information yeah. the articles about it. And the yeah. Uh, now, like I was, I was set up the wrong way for the Blair Witch Project. When when I went to see it, it was with my parents uh, because, I, like, that's to date myself a little bit. That's how old I was. I was like old enough to maybe go to movies on my own, but I also went to movies with my Somebody's parents. Somebody's mom had to drive you. And the way my dad, my dad was the one who wanted to see it, and he was like, "Oh, this movie's getting a lot of buzz because they made it for like twenty five dollars, and it's going to make millions." And I'm like, "Oh, that sounds interesting." And then I went to it, and I'm like. This <laughs> It's real low rent and kind of boring, and the actors aren't very good. And like, right. oh, that's awesome. And there's so much like snot the... coming out of that girl's nose. I love the idea of a little Christina throwing her hands up and going, "Someone's gonna get fired." And... <laughs> <laughs> well, like, and yeah, I was I was into movies enough to kind of care that like, oh, this maybe is the next big thing, but I wasn't into movies enough to realize that like, oh, thing movies come out of festivals, and this was, you know, like the interest of the Blair Witch Project was the the crazy, like, viral, such yeah. as it was, yeah. marketing campaign. Viral for the time, for now, you know, yeah. by today's Grassroots, standard. I think. Is <laughs> yeah, grassroots. Yeah. I mean, is there any hope of anything like that ever happening again? Uh, convincing people that it's real, or...? I mean, there was a little bit of that of the, for the gallows. 
this year with like the Charlie thing. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, really? There was like this thing going around with like Charlie and like spinning pencils and it got picked up in the news. See, the, the camera's nodding at me. <laughs> uh, the whole camera. There we go. And it, it, it at least had a week before it was like linked to the movie. Right. Um, because people were like, what, what is this? Where did this come from? People were like long, trying to figure so. out what was starting it. What about the, uh, what about the ring? Well, and, and I guess the... Are there any experiences you guys have had in in the theater with the scary movie? Like, because the Blair Witch was one for me, and then the Ring. When I went to go see the Ring, uh, a girl literally ran screaming from the theater. She was like in the second row oh of the theater, God. and <laughs> like, it was like all the way running out. Women. Yes, it, like like inflatable uh, used car lot yeah. guy <laughs> arms. Yeah. When I was in college, I was watching What Lies Beneath. Uh, mm -hmm. On my computer mm -hmm. with my headphones, my roommate is like playing guitar or some college. <laughs> hanging some Dave Matthews, <laughs> hanging his Boondock Saints poster. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I was watching it, and at one point, I got so freaked out that I literally jumped up and ran out. The headphone cord dragging behind me, and just like the loud music blaring. I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> That was a good scary movie. What Life yeah. Beneath was, was actually. Oh yeah. Because that was Zemeckis. He, he, mm -hmm. he was good. Really. When I get so scared, I, I don't. I can't run. I just, I just sit quietly and sob. Uh, <laughs> my and my my earliest memory of it is seeing Sling Blade, which I'm not even sure is a <laughs> horror movie. But I remember being a kid in the movie theater it's not just sobbing movie. to myself because Billy Bob Thornton is so damn terrifying. And my mom just <laughs> said... I don't disagree with that. Yeah, and my mom just said like, honey, why don't you go see a Star Wars? And I like... <laughs> why don't you go see... <laughs> oh my God. So if I, if I were to ever ask you for some french fried mashed potatoes... Nope. Nope. Would you start? Balling? I would just tremble and stare. I'm going at you. to exclusively talk to you <laughs> like Billy Bob Thornton from Sling Blade oh, from now on. That's right. awesome. I mean, off camera. Look forward to that. Good. Good, good, good. That's why you're not invited to his wedding. There you yeah. go. That's what did it. That, that's what did it. Congratulations on your nuptials. I'm going to hurt your real man. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Ugh. I don't. I didn't even see those movies in theaters. Really? Yeah. I guess I the just ring don't care. was really like good. Yeah, I. I'd already seen the Japanese one. Okay. And, which is better. Mm. In what way? Because it's. I don't know. I feel like it's freakier somehow. Because. Because. Like I mean, that first death in the ring with the the horse and the. With the, with Scareface. Just. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. so <laughs> silly. When I went to see Saw, there was a point at the end where like the audience had come around from like being like, oh, to like, okay, this oh. is a comedy. Yeah. You're gonna crawl along. <laughs> the last reel of Saw was legit hilarious. Yeah. I, yeah. I might yeah. have been, I, we might have gone to see that. We did, part. we yeah. did. Because it was funny. Yeah. Like everybody in the theater was just laughing their ass it, off at the end. It turns into a pin and Teller act. <laughs> Pretty much. It was, it was great. It was he lost his hand. It's somehow. <laughs> Gary so Owens was real bad in the ending so of that. Well, well, I mean, it's the paranormal activity thing. Yeah. Like, they're officially out of ideas for paranormal activity yep. because they're actually like, well, we'll show you the ghosts now. Yeah. And apparently in the latest, Finally. In the latest <laughs> paranormal activity, there's a scene where some guy is actually watching Paranormal Activity 3. Oh, oh. They did that, Didn't they do that in Scream 4? Yeah, yes. Scream, that got but real Scream, meta. It got super meta. Scream Scream's started another, meta. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Paranormal Activity was like, we have $65, why don't we make a horror movie? Right. And that was the point of that one. <laughs> that <laughs> like, you know what ghosts is the point of that? love to do, open all your cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting real aggravating. It's getting real <laughs> aggravating. It's like, oh, do you need these pots and pans? I, see, I could believe that go, like that that's the way ghosts would interact with people. Was think, like, if that, I I'm were just ghost, there, open your cabinet. I'm an annoying. I was an annoying asshole in life, and now you can't <laughs> stop me. That's the kind of thing. If I were a ghost, I would hide your keys. I want to meet um, the whoopee cushion ghost. The ghost that constantly puts whoopee yeah. cushions under you, <laughs> or the ghost that makes you think you just sat on a whoopee cushion. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So Those you stand up ghosts. and you're like, there's no whoopee cushion under here. What? So what, they're what? next to you, are going, Ooh. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's like, not a ghost, uh, Casey, good. that's Dave. No, no I'm that's Dave. just Dave. <laughs> just like oh. an old uncle giving you a Bronx cheer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. hey, hey, guy. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> that's why here. I'm your favorite uncle. Yeah, here's a quarter. Here's a I'll quarter. go over here and die Don't now. spend it all in one place, huh? <laughs> Scariest movie you've ever seen, in general. Oh, right God. off the top of your head. Nothing has scared me more than What Lies Beneath. Really? Yeah, just because that was just such a of the I reaction. recoiled so much that like, what it wasn't even it? like, I'm gonna get up and run away, like, away. It was like, <laughs> falling backwards, like, catching, like, <laughs> What part of the movie scared you that much? I don't even remember. Was it the part it's where with like water? Well, yeah, but it wasn't. But it wasn't, the, but it wasn't the tub. It wasn't in the tub. I think it was in the lake. Because there's that scene where he sees the that she's wearing a necklace and he like bends over to pick it up and then when he comes back up she's got like the face of the dead it might girl. Be that one. That was a good scare. Children of the Corn was a big one for me. Really? Because I've never seen any of those. That, that's another one. They made like six of those. Didn't yeah, they? it's 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 a. It's a pleasant little romp, but the thing is, I, I, I remember seeing that at a birthday party. It was a girl's birthday party, so I was like the only boy. And I remember ten minutes Good. in. Yeah, ten minutes in, I went, nope. Went to the other room and played with their little like. So you were in set. a room full of little girls, and yeah. you were the only and one that could watch it. And I was the only one. Like, can't have Malachi. Just nope. want to clear that up. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm not ashamed. It happened. You know. I think that I, I'm not gonna say my my scariest movie, but I think what everyone should do for Halloween is um, put a sign on their doorbell that says "Doorbell doesn't work, please knock," and then watch the Babadook. Ah, because so you're, you're setting up a lot of potential for for people to hear a lot of knocking, thinking and that the Babadook is out. right outside your door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, do you yeah. actually like the Babadook outside of the uh, occasional no door knocking? Yeah. Like, um, that, I don't. I. Like I said, I, I get startled super easily, but I don't really get scared. Yeah. So um, I think psychological things screw with me more. So right, like you sure. know, Lord of the Flies is a much scarier movie than a horror movie because yeah. that is a lot of psychological screw up right there. Okay, what's the scariest not horror movie that you can think of? I don't know, Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies. Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> children are scary. Yeah, children Kids are, are scary. freaking terrifying little sociopaths. Because they haven't yeah. learned it yet. Yeah. Yeah, and they're scary because right. they have a brand new lease on life, and you're halfway done. Yeah, and when you give them <laughs> knives, what are you bad? You're halfway done. <laughs> you're only like gonna it. leave to Feels live to like fifty it. something. <laughs> yeah, I'm old school. This yeah. <laughs> old school like old 1820s. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pull my pants uh, up to my armpits and I die when I hit fifty. And I die when I hit fifty. I think the movie that scared me the most, aside from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, because mm -hmm. we we've covered at great length. Um, When I was, <laughs> she couldn't even say it. Couldn't loudly. even say it loud enough for us to hear what she was talking about. <laughs> it punches the guy's head off. No, uh, when I was like, scariest part of that movie, by the way, is the uh, the the shadow puppets. Oh yeah, the shadow that puppet was, that actually I kills the guy. Actually yeah. eats the guy. That yeah, was the was best, up. right? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that that movie had a lot of things that were like, like genetically engineered to be like nightmare fuel. Uh, but when I was like. Again, maybe in that same age range, 10 or 11, like, my parents took me to see In the Name of the Father, which is not a horror movie. It's just like a political thriller about living in Northern Ireland. Isn't that during... Daniel Day-Lewis? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, the guy goes to prison and all these terrible things happen to him. And, it like, it was just so visceral to me that, like, my mom had to take me out of the theater. Like, why they thought that would be a good and entertaining that's, movie for, that's like, really, no, no, that's, that's, that's really noble of you. Things. Like, the biggest, uh, the, the thing that scared you the most is injustice. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, pretty I, great. That's I didn't. The, the complexity of it completely escaped me. I just knew that the main character was just being abused for reasons. Just, I, just I the idea of being in jail and being abused. Yeah. Uh, but I think a fun one, if you haven't seen it, is probably House of Wax with Chad Michael Murray <laughs> and Paris Hilton. It's surprisingly yeah. good bad. Like it's palatable enough to enjoy yeah, how bad. No, it is. it's it's not going to scare you. Yeah. But it's it's one of those like yeah this is this is this is this bad. is fun this is yeah. fun dad see mine's Ernest scared stupid mm -hmm. oh yeah like Ernest was so awesome when he was awesome it's fun like he had a real alive. awesome window well yeah now he's a ghost that 
hides my car keys. I like good old Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> yeah? Because, uh, yeah, I watch it and I pretend like it's the, the Halloween party that I wasn't invited to. <laughs> In real life. Jesus Christ. So I'm like, yeah, this is fine. We've learned you're, so much about you. Today. Your backstory keeps getting sadder and sadder <laughs> no. in my they, head. they weren't invited to that party either because like their car broke down. Well yeah. yeah. So I'm living vicariously. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, let us know in the comments down below what your favorite scary movies are. What is the first time you remember being scared by a movie? Give us all of those details in the comments down below. Click like and subscribe. Go find the podcast uh, on iTunes and elsewhere. That's in the description. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Boo! <laughs> I mean, the first minute of Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest, is pretty scary because you realize there's 89 minutes more. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think you mean sexy. Tim Curry kills that. <laughs>